Hello kids, in the last class we were studying the protective tissue and today also we will study protective tissue but another kind of protective tissue that is you can say cord. Protective tissue. In the last class we have studied about the you can say epidermis right and our second type of protective tissue is cord now here the question arises what is cord actually you can see at uh, the bark bark of tree you can say or the outermost portion of the tree tree trunk is a cork you can say usually it forms the cork like here it is a tree right so here you might have seen here like uh, you can say the structure we are somewhat like a bark yeah the wooden part of tree that is uh, you can say easily separated you can say it's a thin slice which can be easily separated that is bark and here uh, that uh, forms the cork of the cell you can say that forms the cork cell like uh, we can say if we had a dissection of this if we cut this we can see it is in the form of circle right so here if we cut this circle and suppose here okay so here it is uh, this part that we had uh, you can say zoom the part we had zoom the part this is you can say dissection of you can say the tree we had cut the tree so here now it's the transverse section so we can see in the inner uh, inner part region there are vascular bundles like xylem right and here cambium is present and in the outer region here secondary xylem and here secondary phloem right and after that you can see you can uh, find that is at the last here you can find epidermis here Oh, sorry, epidermis. Outer region, you can see this is the epidermis, and here the bark of tree which changes into cord. Here, these are the cord cells. So, here, these cells you can say are formed in. Dicot, you can say dicot root or stems. These are you can say formed in dicot root and stem at the periphery region. Got it? And they do not have intercellular space, they do not have any kind of intercellular space. So, here we can see if we draw the structure of this, if we draw the structure of this, we can see. These cells are somewhat like somewhat like this. There is no intercellular space in between. I hope you got the diagram now. There is no intercellular spaces and here you can see their cell wall their cell wall is filled with a substance you can say it is known as suberin got it what it is known as suberin it is known as Suberin and it 
is uh, you can say waxy substance which is waterproof it is a waxy substance which is you can say waterproof got it so here we can try it found in old dicot stem or root and here act periphery Periphery is not mean to say at the last part, at the last or you can say at the bottom or you can say at the last periphery mean to say like the foothills. So if we talk about periphery, so it is the periphery region here for like uh, the outer side one at the periphery region and here the protective tissue you can say epidermis is converted into cor. Got it? Next, if we are talking about the characteristics, so we can write characteristics. So we are talking about their characteristics now. So as I told you, as I told you, There is no intercellular no intercellular spaces as you have seen this diagram in this diagram you cannot find there is any kind of intercellular space between you can say any of the cell so here there is no intercellular space next we can write cell wall are thick and filled with suberin suberin which is a vaccine waterproof substance you can say it is waxy waterproof substance got it and this suberin make cork cell impervious to water and air So we can write another point here makes impervious to water and air. Impervious, so you can say for it makes cells impervious for water and air so that water and air do not you can say move. Next, you can say we can talk about its function. So, what are its function? Here, if we are talking about its function, so here we can write function. function so first of all as it is a protective tissue as it is a protective tissue so its first uh, function is protection here it uh, protect
from any kind of mechanical injury mechanical or you can say chemical also mechanical or chemical injury and and dissection so here we can say it you can say protect from any kind of mechanical or chemical injury and dissection so dissection you can say dryness yeah it prevent the dryness next you can say there are lenticels present there are lenticels present in the cell next is lenticels Found in outer region. Found in outer region and helps in aeration. And helps in aeration. Got it. Next, last but not the least, there is you can say commercial use. What is the commercial use? Uh, you can see the cork. Cork you can say you might have heard in the bottles. Bottles cap earlier, bottle cap was uh, used uh, known as cork only here. Like uh, suppose this kind of bottles were used earlier. And here the cork. This was the cork cap was used. Earlier we were not having the plastic bottles. So we used this cork. So here we can write commercial use. Commercial use, one of the uses as a cork. Next, you can say next it also helps in uh, as a insulator or shock absorber. Insulator or shock, uh, shock absorber or many such uses are found. So this is all about. Call. Got it? Thank you.